Yeah. So as I was saying earlier on, the people, good morning. Right now we're live on Alan FM. My heart, my trust, trust me, my heart really hurts right now. My heart cries right now. I know some of you, your heart really cries out right now for the people of Saint Vincent and the Grenadines. This is not really an. This is not really. This is not an energetic pod, cars, or anything to feel hype about. But I want. I really want you to understand what's really happening right now because I really thought it was a joke. I'm here on the mic and I just cannot help myself because yo, just thinking about the situation right now. Thinking about the Saint Vincent and the Grenadine situation right now. It's a. It's really not a nice thing. To see you build your house, your home. You station somewhere that you're so comfortable that natural disaster is now taking back the thing that you work your whole life for. And to see that right now you have to take your little bag, store as much as you can, not, not store, but take that one or two important things that you need to go out. And now to evacuate the country and you have no idea where you're going. That's really not a nice thing, you know. But what I want to say right now. Our heart cries out for St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Lord, I pray to God that they are okay. And this thing doesn't erupt like we expect it to erupt. It last erupted in 1979, pretty much the year of 1980. St. Vincent Volcano last erupted, right? And we in St. Lucia felt the impact as well. I was not born yet, I will be honest with you guys. But I have heard the story, I've read the story. And St. Lucia Airport was dirty with ashes. V4 was in a mess of ashes. Now who knows what might happen this year 2021. We do not know. The volcano is likely to get a huge, uh, well pretty much a huge explosion. I pray to God it does not happen. Now, St. Lucia, we gotta, we gotta, we got to really take this thing serious because we, we just might feel the impact as well. You see the water system, store as much as you can. If you got dirty clothes on the inside that you need to wash, I would really advise that you really wash those clothes right now because who knows for the next few days, the air might just be murky. The atmosphere just might be very dirty. Whatever you got to secure right now from the outside, please do that. If you got crops on the outside that you need to harvest and you're in the south of the island, between, I would say, from Denry going down to Viewford and uh, Labry, PI, also Sufre. Now, speaking of Sufre, did you know that the volcanoes in the Caribbean are all connected? And we right now are living in an active volcano world, pretty much Sufre person. I pray to God that this, our volcano does not how would I say it? Does not feel the connection of St. Vincent Volcano because if that there is that, who knows what might happen in St. Lucia. Now, did you know St. Lucia also had a cone ship volcano and it last erupted in 1766, the year 1766? It erupted that, it erupted so bad that the caldera sank in. Reason why? Whenever you enter in Sufre that you're heading down, whether you're heading on the south coast or the north coast, or how you enter in Sufre in St. Lucia, you're heading down. That means you're heading inside the active volcano. But moving on. Whatever you can do to help out St. Vincent, I would advise that you do that. If you got an extra home or somebody's overseas and the house is just sitting down around, like for example A and B, like those villas out. I don't say the villas, but they must have some way that you could help in some way. I would say a prayer, something to be financial. If you could provide food for those persons on the boat out there on the water, a prayer of comfort, something very nice. Because my heart really cries out for this person. To see you did all what you can. You live in a life and now you have to leave that area. Your home sweet home. And you're just out there on the water waiting to see what's happening. Looking for help somewhere. But right now I just want to see Alan FM is reaching out to you guys. Right here in St. Lucia. 
we in this together. Our very own neighboring island, St. Vincent, which is 27 miles away from St. Lucia. 27 miles, I know, you know, 27 miles. And the ashes got to St. Lucia in 1980. People, all I got to tell you guys, love your family, appreciate one another, because to see you get all that and you over vanity, you put love over vanity, you're going to lose a lot. The most important thing is, the most important thing in life is love, caring, appreciation. Spend some time with your family, your people, your cousin, your loved one. Because we don't know what the future holds. We gotta work, we gotta do what we gotta do. Why well, tell you? On that note, I gotta make an exit right now. It's just to bless, to safe, keep wearing that mask. Also, now would be the most important time to wear that mask that you guys refuse to wear, some of you. Because that the volcano order also releases a gas. Due to eruption, did you know that the volcano also releases a gas that kills? Now that gas, you cannot smell it. I forget the name of the, the gas, you know. And that gas kills every living thing in the atmosphere. Now, don't mind the volcano is 27 miles away from St. Lucia in St. Vincent. Who knows that the wind could transfer that gas to Earth and then we could get sick in St. Lucia. So just wear your mask if you're in the south. I advise that, please. And also to protect yourself from the coronavirus as well, COVID-19. There's so much I have to say and want to say. Uh, but I just that's just an educational tip for you guys, a little advice for you guys right now as to what's happening, current situation. Hashtag help St. Vincent. Hashtag pray for St. Vincent. On that note, stay blessed. I'll keep you guys updated with more information. And do enjoy life to the fullest. I appreciate one another. Store as much as you can. If you need to go shopping and get some stuff, do that. Because I was told that uh, they might cut the water due to the ashes in the air. Who knows? You don't know what might happen. We are feeling that effect as well. Have a good day. Thank God it's Friday. TGIF. Do enjoy life to the fullest. Have a blessed day. And stay safe. Be blessed this weekend. It's more than a weekend. It's time to bond, time to get together, all right? Enjoy. Have a good day.